me, she's been badly traumatised, unfortunately. She's got a punctured lung and what appears to be bones moving around in her pelvis. And on the left side, she's broken through the middle of the panel of the box. She's basically got a box and instead of being nice and square, is now like that. Now, unfortunately, right next to where we're operating are two big nerves that supply the innovation to the back legs. If they get injured or damaged as we're realigning all this and putting it back together, then that can be a serious complication that could affect her ability to walk. Bondi Referral Hospital Sash, a young hit run victim is being rushed into emergency. She's been taken out the back quite quickly, grabbed from us, um, which is lovely, but we're quite nervous to know what's going on. We don't know what's happening at this time. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Misha's distressed owner frantically searched for seven hours to find the runaway husky. The two year old was eventually found, left for dead on the side of the road. Oh no, pumpkin, it's gonna be sore. Yeah. You're a good baby. Good dog. We were horrified. You could see her eyes were quite wide and she was in shock. One, two, three. Good dog, good girl. Now emergency vet Dr Vipika Russell is urgently assessing the young husky's injuries. Misha has quite severe damage to her chest and this is interfering with her breathing. Owner Diane is desperately waiting for an update on Misha's condition. There's a lot of things we have to worry about when you think of a little animal being hit by a large vehicle that, that, at speed, probably. I know it's a lot to take in. It's a big shock. I know how you're feeling. I've had my own animal run over and it's very distressing. Misha is almost certainly going to need surgery. So the trauma team has alerted specialist surgeon, Dr. Steve Fernside. Hey, Jane, how's she going? All right. right. Misha's been badly traumatised, unfortunately. She's got a punctured lung and what appears to be bones moving around in her pelvis. So the most important priority at this stage is to get her stabilised, make sure she can breathe properly, make sure her life is not in danger. Uh, once we've got that established, then we can start to think about how we're going to put back what appears to be a pretty badly broken pelvis. So she needs to be on this side so we can have some oxygen. Misha is still having trouble breathing properly, so leaking air has to be removed from around her damaged lungs. Until that's stabilised, she could be facing another 48 hours before she can have surgery. Good girl. I love you, darling. We'll be back soon. Next morning at SASH, the anxious wait for extreme bruising around hit run victim Misha's lungs to ease is over. Good girl, not too bad, are you, darling? Now, specialist surgeon Dr. Steve Fernside can take over and try to repair her badly shattered pelvis. Good morning, Misha. Poor little Misha. She's been hit by the car, left by the side of the road in a hit and run attack. Uh, she's had a severely punctured lung and badly fractured pelvis. Uh, thankfully, her lungs have stabilised over the last day or so and we can now take her into surgery and, and fix a broken pelvis. So what we'll do is just be gentle here. Position it there. All right, Michelle, let's get you radiographed and get you into surgery. So what Misha's got is a nasty fracture of her pelvis. The pelvis in the dog is structured like a box and there are sort of hinges or joints up the top end and then there's a, a box-like structure. Now what she's done is on the right side she has taken away that join between her spine and her pelvis. So that's actually pulled apart. And on the left side she's broken through the middle of the panel of the box. She's basically got a box and instead of being nice and square is now like that. Misha's surgery will be long and complicated, but Steve is hoping it will give the young hit run victim a second chance at life.
We need to realign her pelvis and put some implants in there to hold it all together. Now, unfortunately, right next to where we're operating are two big nerves that supply the innovation to the back legs. If they get injured or damaged as we're realigning all this and putting it back together, then that can be a serious complication that could affect her ability to walk. Alrighty. So poor Misha, we're just going to get her position for surgery now. You can actually see that her pelvis is slightly misshapen here on the surface now that we've clipped all her hair away. Um, this side is sitting too high up. You can see how that box has moved like that and her pelvis is, is misshapen. So we're going to realign that, put it back into the right position. At SASH, the complex surgery to repair hit run victim Misha's pelvis is underway. It will be in two stages, with Steve starting on her dislocated right side first. First thing we're doing is dissecting down onto the wing of her ilium, which is part of her pelvis. And this is the part that's dislocated from the spine. So this is the part we've got to bring back into alignment and reconnect. Poor Misha, I mean, to be left by the side of the road with these horrible pelvic injuries is just, just awful to even think about for this poor dog. So we've got a tough couple of hours ahead trying to put this all back together. Steve will be operating dangerously close to the important sciatic nerve at the base of Misha's spine. So if we hit the nerve, it causes damage to the main nerve supply to the back leg. So that's, that's pretty serious. We've got to be careful because that affects her ability to walk. All right, let's try that. So we've just put our first pin in, and this is the where we're reattaching the joint from the sacrum at the base of the spine to the pelvis. We've got about less than a square centimetre of bone to get this into the right position. So we have to be very precise about where we're putting the pin. Hard work, that's for sure. Okay, it seems to be reducing now. That was hard, but the screw's in a really good position. I'm very pleased with the way things are going. We're halfway there. We've got to roll her over now and do the other side, which is going to be equally as challenging in a slightly different way. But uh, I'm pleased with that, but still a long way to go. This battle's a, a long way from over. It's like a jigsaw puzzle where the pieces just don't fit. So we're going to need to try very hard to put this all back together in the way that nature intended it to be. Righto. This bone has been pretty badly damaged and it's pushed way out of position, so it's going to take a bit of grunt work to get it back in the right spot. Misha's quite a strong dog. Her muscles are trying to pull this bone in the wrong direction. It's been out for a couple of days. And uh, now we've got to try and get it back. And as you can see, it's not that easy to do because the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, everything around a pelvis is so tight. All right. Okay, suction. What we do is pull it back halfway and then have a bit of a break and let the muscles relax. And then we try and get it the rest of the way. Okay, my dear. We're getting there. We've got it in a pretty good position now. Finally, with the bones realigned, Steve can now attach a plate to help the pelvis hold its shape. Okay. It's been a bit of a job, but we've, we've got there. We're happy with the results so far. It's been a marathon surgery, and Steve is hopeful that Misha will now have full use of both legs. She was fortunate that she didn't suffer a, a head injury here, but at the same time, she had to have a big surgery. We're very optimistic that she's, this dog is gonna go on and live a normal life. You just rest your head there. There you go, sweetheart. You've had a big day, my girl. Good girl. Hi, Mish. Ready to go home? You are looking great, my girl, aren't you? It's a big day for hit run victim Misha. Four days ago, the young husky was rushed into sash with a smashed pelvis. She's basically got a box and instead of being nice and square, is now like that. Her injuries were so bad, it was feared she wouldn't be able to walk normally again. Hard work, for sure. 
Seems to be reducing now. Against all odds, the two-year-old husky is making an amazing recovery. Good girl. Just gently. Misha's doing great. She's doing really well. I'm really pleased with the way she's recovered. Look, within less than a week, she's walking around. She doesn't have any of those nerve deficits we're worried about. She's comfortable. She looks terrific. So she's going home to Mum, and I think Mum will be wrapped. Oh, just over the moon. Everyone's waiting for the call to bring her home. So we've got a special place made up for a nice bed, nice crate, everything to be safe for her. So, yes, we're all very excited to see her and, and bring her home with us. Hello, Diane. How Hi. are you? Good, thank you. Is your baby back? Hi, gorgeous. She's doing great. Hi. Better than I expected, actually. Hi. She's really doing very well. Oh, she very looks great. Mm. Oh, baby, you look great. She'll need to be kept quiet for the next four to six weeks while yeah. this pelvis heals. But, okay. you know, at this stage, her progress is really excellent and she's recovered very well. Yeah. Very pleased with her. Well, she looks a lot happier this time. She's though. a lot happier than she was a few days ago, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. See you later, Mish. You be good at home. Don't give your mum too much trouble, all right? You look after that pelvis. Yeah, thank right? you very much. Thank you. thank you. She's going home to a great family, very supportive. So you're going to need to be. It's going to be tough for that first couple of weeks keeping her quiet, but uh, I hope everything goes well from there. Come on, this way. Good girl. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.